So I'm going to start with the house that you guys receive. Uh, the house coffee currently, uh, what you just got is a blend of Peruvian coffee, uh, Colombian coffee, and Brazilian coffee. And the reason why I chose those are uh, because Peruvian coffee is a light coffee that has a little bit of a chocolate cocoa undertone. So that allows for the coffee to be smooth and sweet. The Colombian coffee is going to have a little bit more of a dried fruit and toasted almond flavor. So that allows it to have a lower acidity. And then the uh, Brazilian adds the brightness and the acidity to it. It's gonna be a little more of a bitter coffee um, and those three together, together give the coffee a very complex taste that is still sweet, it's bold, uh, it's a great morning coffee, mid-afternoon coffee, um, and it allows for that flavor to go, hey, this is coffee, I like just coffee, I wanna taste coffee when I drink it, and so my house will always be that. Uh, again, that's uh, two, it's actually the way that I set it up is it's four parts. It's two parts Peruvian, one part Colombian, one part um, uh, Brazilian. And so that's our house coffee. Uh, and you'll notice that by the bag labeling. And so I kind of put that on there. It's a toasted almond, caramel, uh, green apple. And you get that green apple from the earthiness of the Brazilian mixed with the Colombian, and you get that caramel flavor because all three of them are a sweeter coffee because of the region, which is Central South American. And so you'll notice on the bag that it just says Central and South American uh, because of that blend. I don't tell everybody all three of the blends because I can reuse those labels uh, for the next couple of seasons because most of the coffee that I'll get will be Central and South American. And so that'll help us with that definitive flavor and that definitive taste so that my house coffee is unique every single time.